Good Friday morning to you. Last Sunday, our contemporary worship guy, Jay, he ended the contemporary worship services with a benediction song. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace. That's how every one of our services ends with the pastor giving a benediction. But last week, Jay at the two contemporary services sung those words. And, and the frame, the reframe of the song was the Lord bless you and keep you. Now, I've had that song stuck in my head all week. I don't know about you, but sometimes something gets there and I just can't get it out. And all week long, in, at random parts of the day, I've heard that singing in the back of my head. The Lord bless you and keep you. What a word to be filled in the mind, isn't it? As you end your week and as you're looking forward to a weekend, uh, maybe you're wrestling with, do I turn on my light for trick-or-treaters? Or am I excited to welcome kids into the neighborhood? Whatever you are thinking about, um, I hope those words are on your mind too. The Lord bless you and keep you. Those words are really powerful. They come in the book of Numbers in the sixth chapter. As the Nazarite people, as people are taking a Nazarite vow and becoming Nazarites, they are talking about what, um, what that means to separate themselves from the, the, the other group of people, from all of the Israelites. Nazarites were a pure form of Israelites in that they specifically ordered their life according to rules given by God. It had to do with whether or not they would drink wine or in other intoxicants. It had to do with how they would avoid uh, dead bodies and how they would stay pure before God. And then after this description in chapter 6 of Numbers, at the very end, verses 22 to 27, the Lord says to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons, saying, You shall bless the Israelites. Now, some people interpret this blessing to be just for those who had taken the Nazarite vow. But the way it's written, and specifically the words that are on the page, suggest that it's not and both and. It's a blessing for all. So whether you've taken that Nazarite vow or whether you are just an everyday Israelite, Aaron and his sons were to give you this blessing. Thus you shall bless the Israelites, it says. You shall say to them, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. And then verse 27 then ends this chapter, seals the whole thing. So they shall put my name on, on the Israelites and I will bless them. For those who had taken a specific vow to walk in faith, and for those who didn't, they received the same blessing. For those who were willing to go the extra mile and take on these extra rules and regulations so that they could be pure before the Lord Almighty, they received the blessing. And so, do, so did those who didn't. You know, what I love about our worship service is that our service ends with that blessing for everyone. It doesn't matter if that's the first time you've ever been in a church. It doesn't matter if you're not even quite sure what it means to be Christian. It doesn't matter if you've been baptized and raised and confirmed and gone through all of the process of developing your faith. The words for you are the same. The Lord bless you and keep you. And that's a promise. That's a promise God made to his people very early in the story of who we have always been. That's a promise God made to us, a promise that should sustain us even as we live life in this world. So today is Friday. And as you've finished out the week, you're probably proud of some things that you've accomplished. And there's some things that you wish you would have gotten done. As you look to the weekend, there's probably th some things that you're excited for and maybe some longing that exists. And in all of that, the Lord bless you and keep you. As you prepare for the weekend, as you think about how worship fits into your weekend, whatever that looks like, whether you're at Our Saviors or in a different church, 
whether you can't make it to church for one reason or another. Hear those words. The Lord bless you and keep you. See, that's the beautiful thing about God. God meets us at every point in our life. God meets us at every stage. There's never a time when God says, you haven't figured it out yet. There's never a time when God says, I don't have any more patience with you. God is so much better than we could ever imagine. And from the very early stages on, and through today, and through tomorrow, and whatever the years to come will bring, the Lord bless you and keep you. Have a great weekend.